मेन डाउट ऑन होमोसेक्शुअलिटी लाइक इज इट प्रोहिबिटेड इन इस्लाम एंड वाई सो बिकॉज लाइक आई हैड लाइक फ्रॉम द पास्ट फाइव इयर्स आई बीन विद सो मेनी होमोसेक्शुअल्स इट्स लाइक आई मीन दे आर फीलिंग्स दैट दे हैव फॉर द फॉर द सेम सेक्स और वट एवर इट इज इट्स सो ट्रू आई मीन इट्स लाइक द सेम काइंड ऑफ पेन वट वी माइट फील फॉर फॉर मे बी आर हजबेंड्स और वो एवर इट इज इफ इट्स रॉन्ग वाई इज इट रॉन्ग सिस्टर ऑफ द क्वेश्चन दैट वॉट डज इस्लाम से अब होमो सेक्शलिटी एंड इफ इट्स रॉन्ग वाई इट इज रॉन्ग अल्लाह से इन द कुरान इन सर इसरा चैप्टर नंबर सेवनटीन वर्स नंबर थर्टी टू दैट कम नॉट क्लोज टू एडल्ट्री फॉर एडल्ट्री देन ईवल ओपनिंग अदर रूट्स टू ईवल Besides that, Allah says in Surah Araf, chapter number seven, that telling to men that do you practice your lust after men in preference to women? That means homosexuality is prohibited in Islam, in the Quran, because Almighty God made the human beings. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Rum, chapter number thirty, verse number twenty-one, that He has put love between the hearts of husband and wife. Almighty God has made the human being in such a way that they love the opposite sex. Generally, naturally, no human being loves the same sex. I am talking about the love which is required in husband and wife, not the platonic love which you have between your brothers and between your sisters. Now, initially, there was a research which said that. homosexuality is genetic so during question answer time somebody asked me the way you asking if homosexuality is genetic then how is that human being to blame it came from his parents so why is he to blame like you are saying if someone loves someone else so why should he be blamed i said this is a research this is a hypothesis it's not a fact and later on we came to know that this hypothesis was wrong and the person who propounded this hypothesis he himself was homosexual so homosexuality is not genetic it comes today science tells us how do homosexuals evolve because what almighty god has given permission for a human being what's permitted you get married do nikah you can have sex with your wife and islam says that while doing having sex with your wife is also worshiping allah because you're preventing the haram you're not going outside the marital bond to satisfy your urges that's islam today science tells us today research tells us that those people who have multiple life partners outside the marriage bond as compared to those who only have with the spouses they enjoy the sexual life much better than the others and what happens today when you get tired with it you go to the western countries you have mistresses 5 10 20 no problem you start then doing unnatural things when you start doing unnatural things you don't follow the law of the creator and you try and satisfy your urges in the wrong way the moment you keep on doing the wrong way then you keep on going beyond what is natural and that's how the person becomes homosexual it is not genetic because you go beyond the limits what almighty god has permitted you you try other things you try unnatural things and finally you land up by saying you do no longer enjoy having sex with the opposite sex so you have sex with the same sex so sister because they have broken the law of almighty god and they do unnatural things that's how psychologically they become a homosexual so but naturally if you break the law of almighty god that's totally wrong and that's how it lands up a person being homosexual so they are to blame and islam prohibits homosexuality even christianity prohibits homosexuality most of the religions are against homosexuals it's now the western countries are saying because in democracy whatever majority says you win majority wins in islam 
majority doesn't win, the haq wins. The truth wins. I remember when I had gone to Canada in 1996, the first time I went to give a lecture, in the front page I saw a man kissing a man. A man kissing a man, and it says that they have married each other. Today in Western countries, if I speak against homosexuality, it's a crime. It's a crime. So what we realize that previously, previously, all the countries, homosexuality was a crime. Then some Western countries like Canada gave legal sanction to it. Today, most of the Western countries, homosexuality is legal. Even India, the country where I come from, they are thinking. They are thinking to make it legal. So what we realize, what is truth is truth. Majority doesn't win. What is wrong is wrong. And in Islam and most of the major religions of the world, homosexuality is a sin. It's a crime. It will not take you to heaven. It will take you to hell. Hope that answers the question, sister.